Okay, so um, basically in this video I am going to go through um, binary files a little bit, especially about how to read and write into them, okay? So, uh, let's begin, let's begin. So, basically, um, uh, we're just going to be playing with binary files, okay? So a binary file is a file that uh, us humans, we can't read it. Which means that they're just like basically it's encoded, so it's just basically ones and zeros, basically. Okay, and um, there's advantages of using this. For example, well, um, it's faster to read. It manages the storage a lot better. You know, so at the end of the you know at the end of the day, it's better to just store things like this in binary files. You know, things that we can't really read. It, okay, so we need a program that it needs to write into. A binary file in binary codes and it needs to read it after and tell us and convert it into us like into human codes you know into human letters and they tell us exactly what the file says okay so how do we read and write um binary files okay well that's pretty easy okay uh, we're just um we were playing with files before in the previous videos and it's more or less the same, isn't it? So we declare a file, we have two integers, we'll see why we need them later. And uh, we have a string with the address of the file we're going to create. And this is going to open a file in this location. And instead of just having W plus or just W on R, as we used to have, okay, now we need to add a B at the, at the very end, okay, unless it's a plus. Uh, this or this are both correct, but this one looks better, okay? So B is for binary, okay? So we just need to add a B after the letter, okay? Uh, so we're going to give it a writing a plus conditions, which means that it's going to it's gonna read it, it's going to create a file if it doesn't exist in that location. And if it does exist, it's just going to give it writing permissions, okay? Uh, we need a B because the binary file, okay? So now that we know that, we need, oh, well, what do we need? Well, well this bit here, it's basically to see a, a random numbers, num random numbers, okay? Just really forget about it. We don't really need to know what it means. But um, what we're going to do in this program is we're going to insert a thousand integers uh, from zero to nine in inclusive, okay? So that should really, say, it should really say zero to nine, okay? So what does this mean, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to go a thousand times. So the first one we go, we're going to do R is equal to random. It's going to get a massive number. And we're going to get the um, mod 10, which means the last, very last digit, okay? So, if you don't know, okay, so we have this number, if we do mod, okay, let's say we have this number, if we do mod 10, the number we're going to get is the very last one, okay? That's from there. So, we're, we're basically getting numbers from, random numbers from a 0 to 9 inclusive. So, we're just assigning them to R. So, what do we do later? Okay, well, we need a, we need a way to... Um, how do you say, write things into this binary file. And how do we do this? Well, that's pretty easy. Oh, we need different functions, okay? We're used to use um, other functions like uh, C get C, well, that's to, that's to read, okay? But uh, uh, F put C to put characters, but you know, that's just, that's the normal files. We actually need a um, function that is going to, is gonna write, um, a, it's gonna write these integers, characters, or arrays into a binary file. Okay, how do we do this? Well, that's same um, Well, we're gonna use the the function f write. What f write does is well, it takes actually four arguments. Okay, the very first one, okay, is the address of the um, is the address of the variable. The content of the variable we're going to use okay so in this case we want to put r which is going to be a number from 0 to 9 let's just say 3 for the sake of easiness we need the the first argument we need the address of 3 okay uh, the address of r which is you know let's just say um the address of r let's just say the address of r is f123 so the function needs that okay i'll tell you in a second why it needs the address a uh, second one we need the size uh, we need how many bytes okay so the size of the thing we're going to read okay because the program needs to know how big am i going to write into this file and the way to know this it, it, it needs the amount of bytes okay so uh, by doing the function size of int 
is gonna give us the size of an integer in bytes, okay? So we need to we need to go to Google and look up oh how many bytes are it's an integer. Well we can just do the function, okay? If we're doing a character, we can just do car, okay? But in this case it's an integer, so you know. Then um this number here, we need to give the function um how many blocks is it gonna write into, okay? Because um it's gonna divide this thing is, is going to create little blocks in which this program will raise one by one okay so what we want to do we just want to do blocks of one by one okay so that's just um just we'll we'll see different examples where we might see different numbers here but in this video we're just going to use one okay and then fps where the file we're going to read into we're going to write into um so what happens that if we're going to write a character okay let's just say that r was a character well in this case Okay, in this case, we would need to give us the the address because R is already is already telling a the address of it if it's a character or or if it's an array. Okay, array of characters. So a all array. Okay, so that's a that's no problem at all. Okay, but in this case, R unfortunately is an int, so we need to give it the address. Okay. A other thing we have to check is that a. If we were writing into uh, an array, let's say let's just say R is an array, we obviously need to give it the size of the entire array. So basically, we need size of int by the how big the array is. So if the array is ten elements, we will have to give that okay argument. But in this case, only one number, so percent R. Okay, so it's gonna go. It's gonna get the first number R assigned to R here, and insert R into the the, the file okay so let's just run it now let's just go gcc i'm gonna call it program a main okay so as you can see this thing here is uploading which means that it has been changed if you want to see it again just in case there's no file at the moment okay now it's going to create this and it has numbers here so what happens if we try to open it well as i said this is not to this computer code so we're not going to be able to see it it's just gonna compile it it's going to compress it open it again you know it's just an absolute mess now we don't need we don't need this okay um so now we need a, a method we need a way to read this file okay because why would we need to store a file if we can't read it so we need to be able to read it how do we read it well that's a funny question we're going to use the exact same method okay but um instead of getting giving it writing permissions we're going to need to give it a uh, reading permissions so we're going to go through a loop a thousand times as you can see here so it's equal to a thousand uh, because as i said we rest like a thousand we rose a thousand digits and um every we're gonna use every that's the function okay it takes the exact same parameters as or arguments as a uh, every we need the address of our so what's gonna do is just gonna get the first one i'm gonna say okay i need to read how much do i need to read well i need to read this amount of bytes um so it's gonna go and it's gonna say okay grand uh, it's gonna take this amount of bytes and say how many blocks of these bytes do I need? Okay, so well we said it before one So this is the number of blocks it's gonna read so we need one by one and this is the file we're gonna read it from um, So R here was just gonna get that number. It's gonna say okay I'm gonna go is this per, the computer is gonna go to that file It's gonna say okay. I'm gonna get the first four bytes um, the first block or four bytes other thing of course and I'm gonna put it where will I put it? Okay, it's gonna to go to the first argument and it's gonna to go to the address of R, which we said before it was uh, F1, F123, and it's gonna go there, it's gonna go there in RAM and it's gonna insert the value. Uh, as we said before, I said I think before we said three, for example, for the first one. And it's gonna insert, let's just say the first value is three, and it's gonna insert it into the address of F123. Okay, so that's what the program is doing, okay. Problem is, well, there's no problem, okay? Then R now contains the first number, as we said, as a, for example, 3, and it's going to print it, okay? We're going to print it to the console, um, and I have a space here, okay? As you know, I think you noticed, um, that's just to make it visually appealing, because if we didn't have a space here, it's going to be number by after number, so we wouldn't be able to, like, read it properly, so that's just to make it visually appearing, okay, appealing. 
so let's just run our program okay let me just compile program b now let's just run it and look at that oh it wasn't three it was one that was just coincidence anyway so now we have a thousand digits in our screen okay so it's written one by one so we know now that it's working okay um um also i want to mention that every has problems in linux and mac i don't know about windows but um i think i suppose some of you have seen eight here one on a number uh, it gets segmentation problems uh, when you run it when you well when you compile it and when you run it so um uh, one will do okay that's just a uh, problems i don't know okay so we've done that okay now what do we need to do after okay now we know we know how to read things and how to write things okay so a little challenge or laugh we should do well you should do because we kind of have to is um how to copy from one to another okay and the way to copy from one file to another is going to be a bit more complicated and that is because do, 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 do. that is because um we need to have two files okay so we're going to call the first file c the first one they have the second one fp okay so fp is the one we want to read it from so nums.bin and c is the new file we're gonna we're gonna insert the values to okay so as you can see uh, fp we're gonna get reading permissions and a uh, c we're gonna give it writing a uh, plus permissions we're gonna go through a loop and this is a bit confusing because people look at this and don't really know what's going on and um what basically we're doing right now we have r again which is using r as the variable we're going to get first byte okay we're going to say okay we have a byte of numbers so let's just pretend okay let's just see this example here even though it's all ones and zeros but a uh, what this imagine this is the file here okay let's see yeah so basically we're going to do okay r first digit first block how many blocks do i need to get well size of int okay so i'm just going to get four bytes and how many blocks okay only one block okay so now that it has that he gets zero 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 one okay four bytes for example right uh, and is going to get is going to put it into r the address of r okay so now r contains um one in this example okay and then rice is going to say f right okay so what do we do now okay we're going to insert the content the content of r into c so we're doing the exact same thing okay we're just cop uh, we're just going reading and writing reading and writing from one file to another one okay so it's going to go file number by number and it's going to read it all okay and after that is finished because a loop of a thousand as i said before uh, it's going to close the two files and going to return zero okay so if you want to see it running even though there's nothing there's no excitement um we can see that there's a new file called nums new because that's the name I you know I gave it which should have the exact same values as this one okay and that's just about it okay I know this was a long video but I hope it helped someone and uh, yeah um well yeah yeah that's it and then I'm gonna try to make a video now of a fseek and um, you know there's like a different functions okay because let's say for example we want to read six now this this digit here we want to read the one well the third well this would be the this number zero index zero but it'd be the third digits okay we want to read the third digit how do we want we want to change it to zero how do we do it okay because it's gonna just rewrite the, oh, the entire thing again how do we do it well i want to make a video now which that's gonna explain that a little bit okay so that's gonna be a long ass video so get ready if you want to watch it anyway oh wow